Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting Costa Cruises webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an industry relations specialist here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. This webinar will run about 45 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we will get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Mandy McBride. Mandy has been the Manager of Strategic Partnerships for Costa Cruises since 2012. In this role, she is responsible for the development and implementation of sales and marketing plans, as well as growth opportunities within North America. Prior to joining Costa, Mandy held positions at Airlines Reporting Corporation and MailPound, a travel industry marketing company. In the past, Mandy has held various positions in the insurance and hospitality industry and has also obtained her certification to teach high school business. She holds a Bachelor of Business Administration degree from the University of Massachusetts Amherst with a minor in psychology. And with that, take it away, Mandy. Thank you so much, Anna, and thank you everybody for joining me this afternoon or this morning, depending on where you're dialing in from. I'm so excited to um, tell you a little bit about what's going on with CASA a little bit about our history and where we are going. We have some exciting things coming up in the coming years. So I'm gonna just jump right into the presentation um, and start with kind of where we've been. So we're an over 70 year old company and I just like to go a little bit over our history to see where we've come from and where we're going. So back in 1948, to give you a little background, the Anna Sea made her first voyage at sea with the first transatlantic cruises to South America. In 1957, we broke a new record with the Frank C. She was the first ship dedicated to cruise only. And in 1968, we were the first cruise company to create the flying cruise formula, packaging air and cruise together. And then the Costa Atlantica in 2000 was the first ship in Europe to have private balconies. Then in 2006, we were the first to operate cruises in Asia, Indian Ocean, and Dubai. Also the first to create the spa accommodation concept, uh, having your cabins within the spa area. And then in 2009, we were in the Guinness Book of World Records for the Luminosa and the Pacifica, having the first dual inauguration with the same owner in the same port at the same time. Um, it was a fantastic event. The pictures don't do it justice. It was absolutely amazing. Um, and now as we look towards the future, which I'm really going to focus on today, is the Costa Smeralda. She is joining our fleet this November, and she's going to be the first cruise ship powered by liquefied natural gas, the world's cleanest burning fossil fuel. So she's going to be our largest ship, and she's going to be stationed over in MED. So I'm going to really dive into her um, in just a bit. But first, I really want to bring you up to speed if you're not as familiar with the cost of product, um, let you know what to expect, to your good customer for clients. Um, and so forth. So Costa today, we are the distinctly international brand of Carnival Corporation. As you can see, some of our sister brands, Carnival, of course, Princess, um, Holland America Line, Cunard, Seaborn. Um, we are Europe's number one cruise line overall in terms of passengers and capacity. And we are North America's preferred cruise line for those that are looking for that true authentic European cruise vacation. Uh, we want those that are looking for that full immersive experience we don't alter our products, so when we do come to Fort Lauderdale for a couple months, December through March, you're going to still get that full European, Italian immersive experience because we're not changing the product. You're getting that same experience that you would get if you took a Costa cruise in the Med or Northern Europe, et cetera. Um, and we are Italy's largest travel company overall. And then I always like to touch on this. A lot of people still aren't aware, it's been since 2012, that all of our ships have gone non-smoking on the interior spaces. So I know that was one of the biggest complaints from the North American market. So we worked really hard and got that fleet-wide, no matter where we sail, it is now non-smoking on the interior spaces. A few ships still do have the cigar lounge right off of the casino. Um, and that is the only place that you can smoke is if the ship does have a cigar lounge and then dedicated areas outside. Um, but on the inside, even in the casino, no smoking. So I just want to make sure I re re reiterate that. So exploring with Costa, we have award-winning global itineraries. We've won Porthole Magazine's Best Med Itineraries going on, I believe, 18 years now in a row. And then more recently, Best Far East and Best Middle East Itineraries, and that includes our Dubai products. Uh, from USA Today, top five cruise lines. We do sail worldwide. 
but the Mediterranean is really our home. So um, while others leave in the winter, we sail year round in the Med. So sometimes we have five, six ships sailing in the Med. Um, so again, while others visit, we like to call the Med our home. Aside from that, we also sail Northern Europe is popular, Baltic Sea, Central America, around the coast of Africa, Dubai, we have ships year round, Far East, the Indian Ocean, South America, Caribbean, which I'll touch on out of Fort Lauderdale a couple months out of the year. And then of course the around the world and the transatlantic cruises. We offer about 150 different itineraries, visit about 250 destinations, 60 embarkation ports, and a little over 2,500 shore excursions globally that we offer. And we do offer more seven night year round Europe cruises than any other cruise line today. And we do interport, so you can choose your embarkation port. Um, so a group may be embarking in Savona, and then a group may be um, disembarking in Barcelona while another group embarks. So you kind of um, can get to pick and choose if you want to do a pre or post in a certain port. You can get on or off whenever you'd like. So a new era, new Costa. Our tagline used to be cruising Italian style. We have since within the last year or two. Um, changed it to Italy's finest. So we've been partnering with high-end Italian brands and bringing those partnerships on board because we really want to feature the best of Italy at sea when you're sailing with Costa. We want to represent Italy at its finest. So things like Ferrari Sparkling Wine, we've partnered with Barilla, Illy Coffee, Nutella, and we're going to continue partnering with these high-end Italian brands and bringing them, and this has rolled out fleet-wide as well. So Italy finest on board. Really, what can you expect? What uh, um, you know? What demographic do you serve well? Um, customer qualification is huge for us, especially here in North America, because we are a smaller brand and a little less well known. Um, we want to make sure that people are aware of what they are going to get when they sail with Costa. So we want to make sure that they're aware. You're going to hear five different languages spoken on board, not being culture shock when they get on board and they start hearing Italian and French and German and Spanish and of course English. Those are the five main languages. And then if we do have a group from a large group from another area, we do feature that language as well. Um, that being said, there is a host on board that greets your guests in their native language as soon as they get on board. So they have that person to go to throughout the entire cruise with any questions that they may have um, in their native language. We also, it's mandatory for all of our staff to take and pass language classes. So um, although some are better than others in certain languages, of course, um, they all need to be at least passing these classes to be able to communicate with our guests. So it's a very multicultural, multilingual experience for those, again, looking for that more um, exploratory vacation, want to dive in and be immersive in the cultures. Warm, friendly, genuine Italian hospitality, that La Dolce Vita on board. You're going to uh, be meeting people from all over the world. I have friends, really good friends, in Costa Rica and Germany that I met on my first ever Costa Cruise. Um, this is about now nine years ago. So um, the friendships you make are worldwide, and especially with social media these days, it's so easy to stay in contact with these people you meet all over the world. So really unique experience, very fun, festive, a lot of energy on board. Um, and again, that full uninterrupted international experience and immersion from start to finish. And we incorporate Italy's finest with the menus, the cuisine, wines, desserts, shops, entertainment, and atmosphere on board. So I know this is becoming more and more I don't want to say popular, but people are becoming more and more um, intrigued and interested in this type of travel. Um, and if they do like that Americanized feel, that's great. Then we would steer them to another one of our sister brands, a more Americanized brand. But if they are looking for this exploratory um, international experience, we could be a great fit for them. Bootheel is one of the largest niche cruise lines in the world. Um, we are a solution that fulfills multiple niche needs with key selection factors. So some of the niches that we feel fit um, with our product are destination collectors because of our global itineraries that we offer, foodies because of our true authentic Italian and international cuisine, delivery, hospitality, and service level, and I'll dive into a, our cuisine in just a bit. Wine lovers, because we do have an expansive collection of international wines on board. History buffs and cultural immersion seekers, 
because we do offer itineraries to historic destinations and again feature that uninterrupted international experience. Um, those that love the spa, we have an award winning award winning from Sarah Spa program. Um, it's a fantastic spa program. Um, highly suggest you take a look at it. Definitely an upsell opportunity, but those that really want that full spa concept, it's an Asian influenced spa. Um, highly suggest you take a look at the Samsara Spa. Our music lovers and art lovers, um, we have over 5,000 original masterpiece within our fleet. Um, music lovers, because of our festive atmosphere, and not only in our theater, but throughout our ship, we have to appeal to a lot of different languages and cultures and nationalities, so we do a great job. Um, you could have Italian opera in the theater one night, and then a um, Latin American music and tap is being served, a juggling act, uh, a magician. So we really try to mix it up and have something for everybody on board. And then we say plain old people watchers because of our ship's design for the social interaction um, between our international guests and who does not love some good people watching on board. So the cost of the client, who is a good fit for our um, our product. So I kind of touched on it, but we feel like there is a vast potential market here in North America. It's underserved and it's a growing international market. They want to explore the destinations that they visit. They seek one or more of those travel niches I just mentioned. They want that full immersive experience in terms of culture and people and cuisine experiences, not only on land when they're doing their shore excursions or exploring the city, but also when they're back on the ship and have that experience through and through. Those that want the quality, value, service, comfort, and reliability, and those seeking a hassle-free international experience without the customary uh, hassle and international price tag often associated. Um, we are not for those that are seeking an American hotel or floating amusement park. So I hope I've made that pretty clear. Um, some people you know, get on board without being properly qualified and they're in shock um, to see that uh, the pizza does not have as much sauce or cheese on it as it does here in America, or that the pasta was um, hard in their um, eyes, which is just cooked al dente. So you're getting the authentic Italian cuisine. So we wanna make sure they're properly qualified. Okay, so I just wanna share a couple pictures, um, personal pictures. This is me and my now husband. Um, he actually proposed to me on the Costa Luminosa. So this is us having dinner at the um, uh, club restaurant, the Club Luminosa restaurant that night celebrating. So absolutely fantastic, fantastic experience. Um, as you can see, steaks, lamb chops, uh, baked potatoes, asparagus on the table, a couple glasses of wine. Um, that is our club restaurant. It is additional. Uh, specialty restaurants, some of them are additional, around $31 per person on average. Um, but we do have the authentic Italian and international cuisine. We welcomed Bruno Barberi, our five-star Michelin awarded chef on board last year. And he's totally revamped our menus. He um, actually creates daily menus and pulls from the local regions where we sail. And he wants to pull those local flavors and incorporate them um, in the cuisine daily. We do have the traditional restaurant option with the designated seating time. So the first one being around 6, 6.15, the second one, 8, 8.15. Um, and I say entertainment as well, because it's a very, again, fun and festive environment. The waiters, they'll sing, they'll dance, they'll pull you up out of your seat if you wish, do the Congo line throughout the um, dining room. So really, really fun dining experience. If you don't wanna dine at the traditional restaurant, we also have the buffet offered at all meals. Um, and then, as I mentioned, the specialty restaurants with exclusive menus, a little more um, intimate atmosphere, live piano player in the um, club restaurant here, which is that picture of us. Um, some ships have um, a pizzeria concept. We have um, our laboratory that we had just rolled out on the Smeralda, where guests actually get involved in making their dinner. So depending on the ship, um, depends on the number of specialty restaurants. We do have a fleet guide which outlines all of our ships and all of the restaurants that are on our ship. So it's a great tool. If you need it, I'd be happy to send it to you, um, either uh, a hard copy or PDF form. Um, we also, of course, have our gala presentation nights, our regional menus, and our beverage packages are included in our pricing. 
So the cost of culinary experience, this is big for us. So the culinary experience is one that we really have dove into, especially the last few years. We want to make sure our guests are involved in the culinary process. Um, so things like they can make their own mozzarella at our mozzarella bar, pair it with um, appetizers and wine. They can, like I mentioned, the laboratory, they can um, participate in making their own dinner. Uh, so they can really learn uh, different recipes and uh, we've rolled out Bravo Chef the Show and Bravo Chef the Battle. So our chefs actually come out on the big theater stage with large projection cameras and they demonstrate how to make authentic Italian and international recipes on the stage. So again, if you have those foodie clients, um, be sure to touch on this because it's, uh, it's been a huge, huge success and hit. Um, and they can actually participate for Bravo Chef the Battle. So all of our guests can compete for bragging rights for a Bravo chef for the day. So again, just little fun things that um, get our guests involved and really having a great time. So Casa for the small cruisers, uh, these are my two little ones, uh, Landon and Madison on their last cruise. Um, she is six months there and he is three, three years old. So um, lucky little boy, he's been on uh, a, a handful of cruises already at the age of three. So. Um, they had a blast on the last cruise. We have the Squawk Kids Club. Um, if you don't know Peppa Pig, um, she is an international hit. She's joined our fleet within the last two years, dines with the kids, does treasure hunts. Um, she goes on, um, goes to the swimming parties with them, plays with them, dines with them. So it's been a blast. Um, we also have introduced Princess or Captain for a Day. So the kids can either hair, makeup, nails, parade around the ship or full captain's outfit, learn about navigation, meet with the captain, get their picture taken. Um, so a couple more unique opportunities for them, but everything that you would imagine, swimming parties, um, karaoke, we have a teen club as well. So we have a full kids club. And I say, especially now with social media, it's just a really, really unique and different um, experience for the kids than on an Americanized brand. You'll, you'll have your kids coming back saying, um, high in a couple different languages so again really fun for them uh, moving on to our cabin sizes uh, and our accommodations so just to give you some perspective we do have good decent sized cabins um, inside up to 175 square feet ocean view up to 200 veranda which is this picture here on the left up to 220 then our some Sarah spa up to 360 and then our suites anywhere from 580 to 650 square feet just to give you some perspective so the sweet way to travel, we have completely updated our sweet program within the last year. So Costa Suite is your private oasis, welcoming and bright with exclusive treatment that is personally catered to you. So some things that we have updated, a welcome bottle of Ferrari sparkling wine, you get a dedicated butler, you get priority boarding and disembarkation, a VIP area in the terminal, personal valet um, driver and to deliver and unpack your luggage, Breakfast, lunch, dinner served at a restaurant dedicated exclusively for sweet guests. You get the highest level beverage package included. You get fresh fruit daily, Illy espresso machine, uh, plush bathrobes, and slippers, pillow menu, organic cotton sheets, jacuzzi, bath salts, front row seats reserved in the theater. You also get exclusive access to culinary activities on board, wine tastings, cocktail events, um, cocktails with the captain. You also get complimentary room service and full and cabin meals and also a whole day to spend in the thermal area of the spa. So if you do have clients looking for that new suite, um, please take a look at our suite categories because we do have a fantastic program that we've just updated. So do you wish this was you? Um, again, this is Madison. I sure wish this was me. Um, if you do, you might need to check out our Fair cabin or suite. So this is within our spa area. Uh, again, it's an Asian influence spa. Some pictures below reflect the uh, decor and just the, the feeling you get within the spa area. This is on the Deliciosa that I took on my last cruise, um, just to show you the tea welcoming ceremony area. Um, they give you a guided tour. Um, you're going to experience the luxury of wellness and a total sense of well being. Um, again, it's on the majority of our ships the Smeralda, the Diadema, the Fafinosa, Favolosa, Deliciosa. Pacifica, Luminosa, and Neo um, You know, some of the added things you get, a purifying shower filter, aromatherapy diffuser, get a personal weighing scale. I don't know how much of a fan I am of that, 
but it's there. Um, you also get a kettle with a selection of aromic teas. So again, if you do have those spa clients, please take a look at our um, our uh, spa, some Sarah spa program in particular. So you can see some of the awards we've won from Travel Weekly, Porthole Magazine, uh, Best Spa, Best Spa Facilities, Best Overall Spa Facilities. So um, absolutely fantastic program we have on board. So celebrate with Costa. We do offer celebration groups, um, a reserved space for your commitment celebration, $200 onboard credit for the couple, your 16th passenger free, reduced prices for a cocktail party. That being said, um, if you do have clients that are going and celebrating something special on board, reach out to me, reach out to Scott, let us know. We are a small team here in North America. I'm actually one of three. Um, so we do have a large territory, but that being said, um, we want to make it special for everybody that goes on Costa. So with us being so small, we can quickly turn things around, add a bottle of wine with a note from you, or try to do an onboard credit or do a cake here. That was for my husband for his birthday on board. Um, as you can see, uh, a honeymoon and wedding anniversary cocktail party we inv got invited to. So just doing that little something extra to make it extra special for them on board. We'd love to do that. So festive with Costa. Um, like I said, very fun and festive on board. Our entertainment within our theater, I like to call it Vegas style entertainment because we do have to appeal to so many different languages and cultures and nationalities and tastes. Um, so in the theater, you can have anything from juggling, magicians, mimes, bands, opera, acrobats, dance, you name it, it happens on the theater. We have rolled out the voice at sea, um, or the voice of the sea, I should say, much like the popular TV show, The Voice. So again, getting our guests involved, they can audition, and we have our entertainment department with the three chairs, they work with our coaches throughout the entire cruise. The winner of this goes on to compete for an internship on board with Costa. So again, has been a huge hit. It has been rolled out fleet-wide as well, and we're gonna to continue to do that. Um, we do have our casino. We have our two-story disco. If you like to party late in the night, that's where you wanna be. Um, our shopping gallery, we have Star Laser, 4D Cinema, an Aqua Park. So we have, you know, you name it, we have it on board. Um, we have our Italian Carnival on board. We have our white night. We have our red, green, and white night. So there's things every night that happen. So um, very, again, fun on board. Switching gears now, I want to talk more about our itineraries and our products. So Italy in the tropics. This is my snowman from December and Grand Cayman. Um, a taste of Italy in the Caribbean. The Luminosa is coming back this December through March, sailing from Fort Lauderdale. Again, bringing something unique, a bonus international experience. So there's seven and 10 night itineraries. Um, again, we are sourcing from all over, majority being from Italy, Germany, and France. So I'd say about, depending on the sailing, 15 to 20% will be sourced from North America. So you still have that unique mix of passengers on board. So the Luminosa, built in 2009, for double occupancy capacity, 2,260. Total capacity, about 2,800. 92,720 tons. Um, she has seven restaurants, 11 bars, pools, jacuzzis. She has the Pacific Fusion restaurant, a burger bar, mozzarella bar, club restaurant, gelato bar, disco, kids club, teen zone. Um, this is actually me. This is back when we got engaged um, as we were rolling into the Bahamas. Um, just absolutely beautiful ship. If you do have clients that are looking to have a different experience in the Caribbean um, without having to travel over to Europe, please take a look at our itineraries. They're absolutely fantastic and they can experience something different since we do not Americanize products. So your Caribbean adventure awaits. Time to write your story. We're trying to incorporate more personal pictures from um, both ourselves and our travel partners and their clients to really tell the story of Costa. So will you be ATV in Honduras or scootering around Mexico or um, up in Mystic Mountain bobsledding or swimming with endangered turtles in Roatan with the Turtle Man or scuba diving in Grand Turk? This was our Caribbean adventure, um, our last trip. So again, Everybody's is different. We love to see your pictures. So please send them to us. Anytime that you have a client that comes back, share their experience with us. We'd love to hear it. Switching gears from the Caribbean to right now, the Med and our largest ship within the fleet, the Diadema. She is our um, Tierra. She's our crown jewel of our fleet. 
built in 2014, uh, total capacity 4,947, 133,019 tons. Um, she's laid out a little differently than the rest of our fleet currently with deck five being an open outdoor promenade, having that Mediterranean um, summer feel. So a lot of our uh, bars and um, um, lounges are on deck five so you can wander in grab a drink an appetizer and go enjoy the view from the suspended jacuzzis and cabanas um, meant to feel like you're overlooking the cliffs of the med she has everything in which you would imagine star laser 40 cinema aqua park casinos theater disco she has the largest and sarah spa of our fleet um largest beauty salon and she has the largest shopping gallery uh, she also has more dining choices uh the corona blue is our um, buffet area, teppanyaki restaurant, like the um, hibachi style live chef performances, a tapas bar, a brewery, a wine bar, a pizzeria, um, the club restaurant, traditional and some Sarah restaurant. So she has a lot of different dining choices on board. She's currently in the West Med and once the Smeralda joins our fleet, she will be repositioning from Europe to the United Arab Emirates, sailing from Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Uh, with a new seven night rotation. So that's coming in 2020, just to give you a little heads up of uh, what's coming up. So we're really excited about um, her joining the Dubai product. So if you do have clients looking to go there, please take a look. She's an absolutely beautiful ship. I'm gonna flip through some pictures because I know videos don't work well um, through webinars. So if you are interested, we do have videos. I'd be happy to send them as well. So here's the outdoor promenade. We have the teppanyaki restaurant, gelato teria. This is where you can gain all those extra uh, pounds on the cruise with 18 flavors of ice cream, 12 hot chocolate flavors, six um, uh, different crepes, Italian pastries, cannolis, you name it, it's found there. Well, our two-story German beer pub, German sing-alongs, German uh, polka dancing, German entertainments there, as you can imagine, very fun and festive. Um, we have our champagne bar, five different brands of Prosecco served here well as uh, appetizers, again, on deck five. Our Teodora, Latin cocktails, American, um, Latin American music played here, tapas, so very relaxed, but fun and festive environment, not only, again, in the theater, but throughout the ship. Our wine bar, for those wine lovers, 80 labels from over 50 different Italian wineries are served on board the Diadema. And the Lido Diana, so this is our main pool area with the retractable roof, of course. Um, the seats there are first come, first serve, in front of the large jumbo screen, of course, um, arts and crafts, language classes, dance classes, um, you name it, it happens down there in front of the large screen. So again, what's your story look like? This is my boss, Scott Newton. He's the vice president of marketing and sales for North America. Him and his son, Logan, he took him for graduating college, lucky guy. Um, I went to London and Stockholm. Um, this was on the Magica um, earlier this year. So he sent me a bunch of pictures and I had to laugh and I kind of had to separate them up because um, a lot of them had Logan with a drink in his hand and he's newly turned 21. So I guess that's a good reason why. Um, but this is them, of course, exploring the city, really diving into the culture. And then I put all of the drinking and food pictures together, meeting with the captain. Um, they had a fantastic trip. The Magic is a beautiful ship as well. Um, we went to Estonia, Stockholm. Um, where else did we go? A couple different ports. Um, as you can see, it looks like they had a great time together. So um, thank you, Scott, for sharing the pictures. So then to the day, introducing the Casa Smeralda. Really excited. She is going to be our new flagship arriving this November, powered by liquefied natural gas, going to be in the med. She's about 6,554 guests, 182,700 tons. So she is our largest ship, 64% of the cabins are balconies, um, and she has um, a different layout as well from the Diadema and the rest of our fleet. All new cabin and ship design. The ship's name pays tribute to the Emerald Coast. Um, it's really in northern Sardinia, it's really known as one of the more beautiful and um, natural environments. So we wanted to design the ship after that. So we uh, were inspired by different locations in Italy, Palermo, um, Rome, Venice, Bellagio. So each deck is reflective of a different location. So um, all, of course, designed and furnished by Italian designers. I'm going to flip through just to give you some perspective on the design of the ship. Um, but first, I want to touch on her Mediterranean eight-day, seven-night itinerary from 
Savona, Barcelona, and Chivitavecchia are the three embarkations. Um, really, really excited. Again, um, she does an overnight too. Uh, this is just a highlight from our new brochure that just came out this morning of the Smeralda. So again, um, if you are interested, reach out. I'd love to send you the electronic copy of this brochure. Pricing is fantastic, especially for our new ship. So come November, starting from $7.99, December $4.99, and it's a great time. Even in the winter off season, we're still there while other ships pull out. We are there. So it's a great time to get over there. Um, airfare is cheaper. It's less crowded. Cruise fare is a little cheaper. You're going to be able to intermingle with the locals more because it won't be as crowded. So especially in those shoulder months of September, October, or April, May, great time to still take advantage. You see here, April and May, 549 starting at basic. Um, absolutely fantastic pricing. So on board, 11 restaurants she has with the teppanyaki and pizzeria, the laboratory, the taste lab, where guests can enjoy making their dinner before dining. She has 19 bars on board. She has the wellness center, a multi-purpose sports deck, um, jazz club, piano bar, she has a water park, so absolutely beautiful ship. I want to flip through some pictures to give you some perspective. Um, you can see here the water park on the left, uh, outdoor dining. She has a skywalk. I, I would be a little nervous to go over, but um, I probably need a glass or two of wine. Uh, I get nervous walking over the street grates in the city, so um, this, this would take a lot, but it's absolutely beautiful design here. Do some more outdoor spaces, a pool area, some lounge um, lounge areas, first come, first serve. Um, our spa area on the Smeralda, absolutely stunning. Very clean design. Um, here's some of our specialty dining. So we have um, Ferrari Sparkling Wine Bar. We have our, uh, our gelato bar. We have a Coliseum. So this is kind of the main atrium area entertainment here you can grab a drink um, really just enjoy um, you know the music that's playing so here's some of our uh, the taste laboratory a pizzeria concept um, and then I will also show you our um, over here on the right is our buffet just to give you an idea of the layout and this is the pizzeria that I was talking about you have waiters, waitresses that come up in the red and white um, outfits, and they take your order. Um, I believe it's about $8 for a beverage, a your choice of pizza pie, uh, salad, and dessert. So here's our main theater, and then our outdoor bar area as well, and dining for the buffet. And then I wanted to show you some cabins. So we are introducing a new cabin category. It's called Cabin with the Terrace by the Sea. So as you can see here, um, there's kind of an intermediate area. So it's the balcony, of course, and it's kind of an intermediate reading nook, and then um, your cabin space. So it's great if you're traveling with two, even three or four people, it would give you that extra room. So really fantastic. Um, just some perspective looking in and out from that middle room in the balcony. Uh, just some perspective on the suite, um, little sitting area, your suite um, living area, or your suite bedroom, and then the bathroom. And then balcony, uh, again, you can see the different floors and how they're representing different cities, looking in towards the balcony and out from the balcony. Ocean view, and of course, inside. I know you all probably know what a cabin looks like, but just wanted to give you some perspective. Um, so the Viencia, I wanted to make sure you're aware she did join our fleet in March of 2019. She is dedicated fully to Costa Asia, um, but wanted to let you know she is part of our fleet, 135,500 gross tons. Um, she's designed for the Chinese market, uh, specifically dedicated to the city of Venice. So really embodies that full Venetian celebration and combining the two cultures together. So she is specifically again for the Chinese market, but wanted to let you know she is part of our fleet, as is the Costa Ferenzi. So she's coming November 2020. We, as the North American market, have the ability to book into um, some of her inaugural cruises. So um, in October 2020, she has a couple that start at 7.59 per person um, with the seven nights. Again, she's going to be dedicated to the Chinese market. She's the Viencia's sister. 
wanted to let you know she is available to book into these inaugural cruises. So if you have clients that are looking for, um, whether it be a seven night from Savona um, or a 50 night going for her positioning to China, um, it's divided, the 50 nights divided into three sections, Savona to Dubai, or she can do um, Dubai to Singapore, or you can do Singapore to Hong Kong, or you can do all three of those. So if you do have clients that you feel would be interested in this unique inaugural positioning cruise, um, or segment, let me know and I'll get you more information, but just wanted to make sure I touch on that. So 2021 itinerary highlights. I know there's a lot of words up here, not gonna go through all of this, um, but we do have a lot going on. So I wanted to make sure that I let you know. So of course the Smeralda is gonna be in the med. The Diadema is repositioning to Dubai, as I mentioned. We have the Fasanosa. So if you're interested in South America, um, she's then going to go to Northern Europe, um, and then she's going to return and do 10 nights in Western Med. So she's a little all over. The Fabulosa in the Caribbean, joining the Magica from Guadeloupe, doing Southern Caribbean destinations. Then she's positioning to the Med and the Canary Islands, and then Northern Europe. So, and she's also doing the Baltic. So um, she's a little all over as well. The Deliciosa is going to be doing the 112 World Cruise. After that, she's going to position to Venice for a couple uh, Greek island cruises. Luminosa is, of course, doing the Caribbean um, from Fort Lauderdale, and then she is going to return to the Med as well and join the Deliciosa in Venice. Pacifica, um, Argentina, she'll be, then she'll be repositioning to the Med, um, offering the best of Spain, and then she's going to return back to South America from Buenos Aires. Fortuna, so she's going to be from Singapore um, doing butterfly departures with exotic ports in Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Cambodia. Um, then she's going to go back and do nine from Amsterdam, um, nine to 14 night departures from the UK and Ireland, Iceland, and fjords. Um, then she's going to return back to Singapore. Mediterranean, so she's going to be doing Indian Ocean unique itineraries. Then she's going to come back to the Med, do Venice itineraries. Um, to all some Greek island itineraries, and then go back to the Indian Ocean. And then the Victoria is going to continue her seven and 14 night uh, cruises from India and the Maldives. So um, really unique itineraries there. And sadly, we are going to say goodbye to the Neo Riviera in 2019. Um, and then just a reminder, the Neo Romantica, Serena, Atlantica, Viencia, and Ferenci will continue to be dedicated to Costa Asia. So a lot going on. Just wanted to give you some high level highlights of our itineraries so you're aware because we do sail worldwide and not a lot of people are aware of everything that we offer quickly touching on our new pricing model i hope you're aware um last april we introduced this trying to make it easier to book with casa so we basically have three different levels we have a basic a comfort and a suite the basic level is for people that want just the lowest possible fare. They just want to get on board. They don't care where their cabin is. Um, they don't care about the option terms or cancellation fees. Um, they are very strict with basic. They're a guaranteed cabin. Um, so again, for people that just want to get on board, I always recommend trying to look into the comfort category, comfort classic or comfort premium. Big thing there is comfort premium. You get your choice of dining at time of booking. So for the traditional restaurant, if you're um, traveling with several different families, highly recommend that so that you get to choose your dining time instead of being assigned. So um, you get the Brindiamo drink package um, in the comfort level, so wine and beer included. Um, you get a better location and larger floor plan in terms of cabin size and position with the premium. You also get a 10% premium future cruise credit when you book comfort premium. Um, of course, all your cost of club points, et cetera. And then the suite category, your deluxe, that's everything in, in which you would imagine when you book a suite. Again, I have this as a PDF quick reference tool as well if you are interested. And lastly, I know that I've covered a lot of information during this webinar, but wanted to make sure I bring you up to speed. Um, we have this past Monday, July 15th, we launched our new booking platform as well as our Costa Academy and our marketing toolbox. So our new booking platform is booking.costaextra.com. You now have the ability to make payments. It was previously costaclick.com. We have since are replacing it with booking.costaextra.com. You can edit, you can add excursions, you can um, 
it has a lot more that you can do with it. Um, add beverage packages, you can add um, fruit packages, you again can make payments. You also can find the Costa Academy there, learn all things Costa. Marketing toolbox is there for you to use. You can download fleet guides, deck plans, customized, customizable PDFs, view webinars, find promotions, you name it, you can find it in the marketing toolbox. So really, really helpful. Want to make sure that you're aware it's there for your use. We also offer spam and agent rates to gain firsthand experience. We know that's very um, uh, important. So if you are interested in sailing with us, please just reach out to me. We usually assign 60 days prior to sailing um, uh, based on availability, but we always try our best to get our agents on board. And we will be announcing spams, hopefully one or two a year moving forward. Uh, we do have a group policy as well. Eight Cabins makes a group with us. If you're interested in that, please let me know. I'll get you all the information you need on groups and introduce you to our group person within our group department. So the Costa Academy, we're really excited to have launched this again this past Monday. So it's really new. We want to make sure that you get your agency and your agents registered today. You need to log on as an administrator, and then you can grant access to all of your agents, creating different usernames and passwords for them. They then can go on and start the training module classes. They can start and stop whenever they like, but you learn everything about CASA, our ship, where we sail, our product. So it is a fantastic tool. We could not be more excited. Um, and we are introducing an incentive for a $50 gift card for anybody that graduates the CASA Academy by September 30th, 2019. We also are going to be entered in for a Smeralda Cabin giveaway to one of the graduates. Um, so this is huge. That's so special. We're so excited to be able to have a cabin to give away. We also are going to get priority access to fam space when we introduce it. So a lot of perks for those that graduate the academy. Again, this is in with Costa Extra. Um, if you have any questions or need help getting registered, please reach out to me. Um, I would love to get you set up on here. And lastly, the promotion. So right now we have our buy one, get one up to 50% off. We just introduced more October and November dates within this, but as you can see, the Diadema started at $9.49, um, and you get the second person half off. Fortuna, $6.79, or $6.79, Fasanosa, $8.89, and Victoria, $8.99. So um, a lot more itineraries were introduced to this sale. So again, please take a look. It's a great sale that we have extended through August 30th. So um, again, please take a look. Uh, CLIA members only. So we have, again, moving into 2020, going to be introducing an agent bonus commission. Uh, it's a bonus commission of $25 per cabin. Um, you'll be getting more information about this. Wanted to make sure I just touch on it here briefly for you. Uh, again, this is going to be coming January 1st, 2020. So finally, our key takeaway and messaging really costs value proposition is we are a unique and authentic international experience without the international price tag. We want to make sure that our guests really get that full immersive international uh, uninterrupted experience from start to finish, both when they sail with us and when they're on land doing their excursion and excursions and exploring. So with that, I want to give you my contact information. It is McBride, M-C-B-R-I-D-E, at us.costa.it. And I will turn it back over to Anna to see if there's any questions now or if you want to reach out later with any questions that you may have, I'd be happy to answer um, any questions. Perfect. Thank you so much. And we do have some questions coming in. Our first one is from Dana, who is wondering if Costa can accommodate power wheelchairs on board uh, with a roll-in shower and capability for hospital bed to be brought in. Um, the power wheelchairs, I definitely know yes. Um, uh, the, the hospital beds, I would have to double check and I, it would depend on the ship. So if you can shoot me a quick one-off email, I'll investigate the ship for you. Um, I would just have to double check on the cabin sizes on a couple of our smaller ships, um, but we have no problem looking into that for you. Okay, got it. Our next question is, what is the age range for the kids club? So it really, um, they break it into different age groups. So the teen zone, um, depending on how many kids are on the sailing, they'll break it up into smaller age group uh, groups within that. Um, but it starts at three. Um, and then it goes all the way up until, you know, 16, 17. Okay, perfect. Our next question is from 
Wanda, who is loving all of this information, and she's wondering where she can get um, copies of any collateral and a PDF of the copy of the ship. Sure. So what you want to do is go on Cost to Extra. Um, so that's booking.costtoextra.com. And that's where you can find the marketing toolbox that we just launched this past Monday. And you'll be able to find all of the deck plans and PDF flyers and fleet guide. That is a quick reference tool. We also just, um, the Costa Smeralda brochure came out this morning and it's being uploaded as we speak to that library in there. Um, so a lot of information uh, you can access directly from Costa Extra. Okay, that is easy enough. This next question is from Dana. I know that you mentioned all of the authentic cuisine, authentic Italian cuisine on board. Um, is there a specific region of Italy that your cuisine represents? It's both uh, representative of Northern cuisine and Southern. So not only are you gonna get the pastas and the red sauces, et cetera, that you often just immediately associate, you're also gonna get the Southern cuisine. So the lemon, citrus, um, fish kind of aspect as well. So we represent the whole, Italy as a whole. Okay, sounds delicious. And you touched on this as well. Um, are there special occasion rooms for people celebrating birthdays or weddings or baby showers? Yeah, so um, we definitely have rooms for events on board. Um, just reach out directly to me or our reservations department and let them know what you what event you have going on and we can accommodate. Perfect. This next question is from Benita, who is wondering if the buffet offers the same items being served from the dining room or if it's totally different. So that's one thing that we were working on. And um, yes, we do now feature in the buffet area the same menu as um, our traditional uh, restaurant as well, because that was something people, they just didn't feel like, uh, you know, going and having a sit down meal in the traditional restaurant, kind of wanted to grab and go. So yes, we do feature the same menu now. Okay, perfect. Lynn is wondering if you accommodate infants. Uh, six months. Okay, I would say yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, our next question is from Linda, who's wondering if Costa has airfare and transfers with booking. We used to have an air department. We no longer do have an air department. So unfortunately, no to the air. Um, some transfers, depending on the port, we do assist with. So it really depends on the port that you're looking. Perfect. And if you could just repeat one more time um, how agents should get in contact um, with your groups or how they, who they should contact if they have um, a special celebration yeah. or a group. Yeah, you can reach out to me directly. Like I said, we're a really small team, so um, I'll get you in contact with the direct, uh, somebody who will be available to reach out directly from our group department. Um, so just reach out to me directly and I will get you hooked up to the right person. Okay, perfect. And it looks like those are all of our questions. So thank you, Mandy, so much for all of that information. And I want to remind everyone that this was recorded. It'll be posted on our YouTube channel. And thank you, everyone, so much for your time. Thanks for joining us. And have a great rest of your week. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. you.